What's up, Plastic Addicts? I'm uh, in the model shop today, and I've got a number of things on the go. But I want to take some time to just talk about my editing process and the tools I use and whatnot. So for this setup, I'm using a uh, Insta something webcam. I can't remember the name. Recording my uh, audio on my iPhone with this uh, little USB lightning lav mic and I've got my iPad over here and you can see I've got a computer over here but I actually prefer working on the iPad because the stylus gives me a bit more bit more control so uh, I'm just gonna move over here and hit screen record and uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, what I do so I tend to record everything on my iPhone or this camera. And then I edit on my iPad, as I said, because the stylus, Apple Pencil, whatnot, is really, really handy versus the mouse interface on the computer. So my primary editor is a program called LumaFusion. And as you can see, I've got a few things, uh, few things in here uh, on the go, things already done. But what I'm working on right now is the long-form video for the uh for the galler class and this is just a little look at my little look at my timeline so far basically i'm breaking it down into individual segments uh that seemed popular on previous uh videos like the uh 1400 scale enterprise e and um this is you know kind of where we're at right here we're getting into into lighting prep and one of the things i like this is really really handy and listen this is just for my own own convenience even though i'm working on a much smaller screen than than I could be. Um, just how handy it is to... Okay, we're going to tap that. We're going to move this, shrink it, raise it. Let's just put things back to where they were. I can uh, add transitions. Our various uh, various menus here. I can do photos and videos, just videos. And this is kind of everything I have on the iPad. Um, this is my primary tool. I use a lot of mobile mobile devices just because it's handy and a bit lower cost relatively speaking, versus all the, the higher-end cameras and equipment, because I've been able to get reasonably good results from from this consumer equipment. So I just wanted to say, hey, this is uh, this is what I've been working on this weekend. I've got a number of videos to, to edit, including a lot of the stuff that uh, HD Mod Work sent me. Working on the, uh, the Refit Enterprise Commission, which I've opened up again to add, add change circuits, change lighting components, things I didn't like, and uh, I have an endlessly patient customer, uh, you know, because I'm almost two years into a six-month build. So thanks, my man. But it's also going to end up being a really, really good build with kind of everything isolated. Like the biggest thing I found is that uh, I had uh, the one of the big things I found was that I had uh, light spill in the spotlights because I hadn't properly isolated them. So I've gone back in to, to change a few things so that when the spotlights are off, for example, and the window lights are on, there's no light spill into. So each, not just each circuit, but each lighting element is isolated from each other. So it's taken a bit of time to kind of go back, and I keep finding new products that I want to put in to, to make it better. So it's uh, it's one of those things that's taken longer, but it's going to be very, very good as a result. But there'll be more on that that soon. So uh, keep watching for more. Keep working on things and um, more content from the model shop. Trying to increase my reach, which is difficult because I seem to have stalled out on every platform. And I'm not reaching new people. So uh, I guess the biggest takeaway is if you enjoy the content, share it and, and help me get out there. Because otherwise I'll eventually have to shut the door on this because I just can't reach anyone to keep uh, to keep doing it. That's not meant to be a downer message at the end, but um, please, if you're a fan of my work, share it and, and help get it out there because that would be really, really, really helpful. And I have a Patreon as well, which is by and large free. There's a couple of tiers for for people who can or want to pay for them, but I don't like hiding everything behind a paywall. So uh, anyway, all that to say, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, sharing, liking. Um, and helping me grow Jason's model shop. Uh, take care, everybody.